like he might. We seem to have a wild pill bottle on this property. Let's go take a look. Scientifically named Pilius Bobius, this robot is currently in its fighting time. Its natural food sources are grass and ping pong balls. Let's watch as it gets to drink some water. Oh no, we look like we're scaring it. We're gonna have to find a way to trap this for further investigation. Did I ever tell you about the time I was on an expedition to find the Doomba? It's a, it's a type of robotic creature that's just super carnivorous and the number one predator of many robots in gladiatorial combat. It was an amazing experience, but we I feel like we might be on the trail of a... Oh, crikey! We, we gotta hide! He might be on to us! Look at that magnificent creature. We all track him back to his breeding grounds. No, no, don't go off your scam! No, stop! What have you done? You lost him! Although this shows the amazing speed of a pillbot when scared, I feel like the breeding ground is somewhere up here. Let's go! Quikey, we found ourselves in the Pillbot breeding grounds, and we're about to show you how to set up the most effective trap to capture a Pillbot. But it looks like I don't have the bait, so I'm gonna send my assistant out, who's the best intern money could buy. <laughs> That's a real feat of nature right there. Now where was I? Oh yes, so you're gonna need your stick, your cardboard box, and your bait. Ping pong ball. Oh shoot, I had the balls all along. I, I had the balls all. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go set up the trap. Now, you, the viewer, are gonna hold on to the end of this string as we set the trap. As, <coughs> as we set the trap. So here's what you wanna do cardboard is the natural material that all pill balls go to sleep in. So we're gonna create a false sense of security for this fine creature. We're then gonna take the balls and we're gonna set the bite inside of the trap like that to create the perfect place for an early billboard to find its lover. Now let's be really quiet. I think I hear one outside. Why you might? We've had a couple goes, but we just couldn't get it. But now I think this is the real deal. We found a pill ball in heat ready to might. It's approaching the box where it finds sanctuary and food. Watch it slowly approach. Quickly, pull the lever! We got one! We got one! Crikey, I'm here with Pillbot in captivity, and this is my partner. My name's Bill, and I take care of the pill. This is Pillbot, a revolution in robotics. Each wheel in the movement system is individually suspended and driven by a motor powered by a Sidewinder 4 ESC. It's all powered by a graphene battery, making this species be able to climb over any obstacle and any challenge. Next, we have the arm, originally of Indestructible the First, one of the original robotic species of this timeline. The ball mechanism utilizes the same Lego wheel with, the, with an electric motor that takes the size of a ping pong ball and fits perfectly, sucking it in and storing up to four. This then reliably deposits them back on the drop-off pylon. Crikey! My intern and I just found this amazing dig site! Let's check it out! There's a lot of fossils here from the indestructibilious species. You're an expert on that, take it away. The bloodline of Pillbot was mainly influenced by the indestructibilious species, a tank-like creature that used TPU flexible plastic to bend into a tread-like shape. That tread shape would then be used later for a 3D printed wheel design like on Pillbot today. We even have some of the original Pillbot V1 exoskeletons. This was made out of PETG, an incredibly hard and robust material, but the modularity, like from this original tank mount, led to unalignment and the death of its species. We have some amazing artifacts today, and I'm so excited I was able to share Pillbot's history with you and have a what great die!